Hey, what's up? John from VideoFort.com. If you didn't know it, we have some of the best stock footage on the planet. But uh, I think you did. That's why you're here. You just want to, you guys just want to come around and, you know, watch me, watch me do some After Effects. Well, today we are going to be starting it off with a blast. Yeah, that's right. You have no idea what that means. Uh, we're going to be doing 3D space and learning how to move objects in a 3D space and, just, you know, fun times there. Um, but like I said, let's start things out with a blast. So we'll go, we've got our composition made already. Uh, mine's 1920 by 1080, 24 frames per second, all that awesome, amazing stuff. And uh, we're going to go up to layer, new, solid, and we're going to have a black solid made. Say okay, we'll make it the same size and we'll just say okay. Cool, from there we're gonna go to our effects and presets search and we're going to look for CC particle. There we go. And we're gonna do CC particle world. And we'll just go ahead and boom, drop it on there. And look at that, that's beautiful. So this right here is a 3D aware effect you know it's a 3d uh, effect because it's got this little cube next to it I don't know if you guys see my mouse over here but uh, yeah that means that you can work with this in a 3d space so I'll show you what I mean we're gonna go up to layer new and camera and this is gonna bring up our camera settings uh, we've got all these different awesome presets and you know all this stuff over here but we're just gonna leave it at 50 millimeter and uh, say okay and from there we're gonna make sure that we have our camera tool selected up here and we've got all these different selections here we've got unified camera tool which we're gonna stay away from right now we've got our orbit camera tour tool our track XY camera tool and our track Z camera tool um, you yeah. know all these are great and we're gonna go through them right now so let's select orbit camera tool and we can now orbit around our particle world get in close there check that out woo call mom all right and if we go to our track XY camera tool this is gonna pan left to right now I know it probably just looks like I am moving the layer back and forth but this is actually the camera moving about that particle system there you can also choose the track Z tool and that will let you pan into or out of the camera so it's kinda like zooming in on a camera it's not scaling up the layer it's it's actually doing like a zoom which is pretty cool and fancy and you know we can go back there and move it around and center that. Now let's go ahead and select our black solid and go through this particle world uh, settings and check out some of the stuff there. Then we got our birth rate. Birth rate is the amount of these guys uh, over time. So like as we move forward we get more and more of these things. And if I increase this we get more and more over time. So if I go back notice how it gets less and less and less. And that's just how fast those things are going to come out and be born. And we can turn that back down a little bit. And if we turn it way down, we only got a few. And if we go back in time, you get less and less. So, fun stuff there. Uh, then you've got longevity. This is how long the dots stay around after they're born. So if you have it on for longer, or like forever, you can make it like infinite maybe. Four, then you'll just get more of these on screen as time goes on. And if we go to producer, this is going to be how the particle system's positioned. So let's crank that birth rate up just a little bit. And bring the longevity down. Let's uh, reset our camera real fast too. That'll bring it back, and we can position that up a little bit. 
So back over to producer, this is going to be like the positions on your particle world. So you notice, you know, position x, y moves it up and down. And z will pan it in and out as well. So you can make it rain. Uh, then you also have got your radius on your x, y. That's like the box. So that's going to allow you to stretch out that. And same thing with y, it'll stretch it out y way. And then the z, it moves it out in z space, so it gives you more of a depth, which is cool. So yeah, lots of really cool, fun settings to be had. Play around with them, you know, you'll get it. Uh, physics, we're going back to high school, hope you didn't fail. Uh, you can explode stuff. I almost slipped there. <laughs> um, you got the direction axis, you know, cone axis, and that's pretty much just going to be changing, you know, the shape and how the uh, animation is. And if you scrub through, you can kind of view these. So that's just how the different particles are going to get animated. You know, play around with it. It's really cool stuff. Lots of fun. Vortex is pretty cool looking. Make like a tornado. If you live in Kansas, you can put Dorothy in there with her little dog, too. So yeah, check those out. You know, play with it a little bit. You can see them. Uh, after that, you've got Velocity. Uh, and then inherit velocity, you know, gravity. If you bring gravity down or up, uh, you do cool stuff there. The resistance, make it extra. The floor is just going to be moving the floor up and down from there. You know, that's where the particles are born from and all that. And then you can also go to particle, and you've got all these different particle types. You know, play with those. New bubbles. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Getting all bubbly. I like the bubbly. Uh, cubes. You know, all these cool different choices. So that's, that's the basic gist of the 3D workspace. But... It's not just limited to these 3D effects. You can also, let's go to our project window and let's drag in some of our footage. Now we still have our camera here, so just keep that in mind. And uh, we'll drag that in and that in. And I'm gonna change our workspace real quick. I'm gonna bring it to like two seconds. Drag that over. Let me see. Trim comp to work area. So you'll notice over here we've got the cube here. Uh, we need to check that off to make all these layers 3D as well. And then from there, we're going to scale them down. And actually, let's just delete this camera for right now. Uh, and select our select tool. So let's scale down all these layers. And you notice these all have that X, Y, and Z access going on now. It's because we made them 3D. And we'll reposition that up too. And then from there, we can also change the depth of them. So, you know, mess with that Z access a little bit. So that one way back. Uh, let's bring this one forward a bit more. Okay, and so now if we go up to layer, new, camera, and you know we're not gonna mess with the settings again, we're just gonna say okay. Now we'll go up to our orbit. And you see how we've kind of taken our 2D uh, objects and we've placed them into a 3D field. And that's really cool because now we can, you know, if we go up to our 
track Z camera tool, we can do like an animation where it pans through these and maybe zooms through each one. And it just kind of creates a more dynamic uh, animation that we can do. You can also set positions for the camera. So if we go to our beginning and drop down that. So let's go ahead and set our first position keyframe. And then move forward in time. And we can you know, zoom through here. And then maybe also add like an orbit on it where it gets underneath there. But I'll do track X, Y and bring it up to like there. So now we can kind of scrub through and view our amazing animation. Oh yeah, look at that. You guys could get paid to do this. I mean, serious, that's high quality animating. Hollywood films use same techniques. I, I know, I work on them. Um, so yeah, I mean, you know, the, the 3D space is a great thing to use. Uh, another cool thing that we can add on to this would be like a light. If we go up to layer, new, light. And we've got all these different kinds of lights. You can do a parallel light, spotlight, point light, ambient light. They all do different things. Uh, they're all great. Uh, we're going to use a point light, and you can also change the color. So if you want it to be like red lighting or you know whatever, maybe green, make it green. Like the Hulk. It's such a cool movie. I can't believe they replaced Edward Norton in the Avengers with uh, Mark Ruffalo. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love 13 going on 30, but <laughs> let's, uh, <laughs> let's, uh, you know, make things all right for the kids or whatever that one movie he was also in. All right. So anyways, let's not, let's not Hulk out over this. Uh, so, uh, you can also have cast shadows. We're going to keep that on and say, okay. Now, since we have cast shadows on, whoa, he's green. He's hulking out. So if we have our select tool, we can also reposition the light, you know, bring it further away, move it back and forth and you can also animate the light another important thing to note is under here you've got your active camera and then you've got all these other views so we can go to top view and this is kind of like a bird's eye view of uh, our layout so this is like the front most layer this is the middle layer and that's the back most and so we can actually reposition these up here so that they're a little closer and you know keep them in our comp space and rearrange them however we want and then we can also reposition this light so it's kind of more in front of it and go back to our active camera view now if we zoom in we can see how that's changed and the cool thing is is that our animation stays the same because the animation took place on the camera so the camera movement is exactly the same um, so that's awesome stuff to know now since we have shadow turned on you also need to turn shadow on for each layer uh, as well. So if we highlight all the layers and do AA, that'll bring up our material options. And the material options are only for 3D objects. So it allows you to accept different things like when you have a light in it. And we wanna turn cast shadows on. And you notice since we had all of our layers selected, it does it for all of them. Uh, you don't have to do that individually if you uh, select them all beforehand. So that's another important thing to note. So now they should be you know, casting shadows on each other and having a jolly grand time. Like the jolly green giant. I'm just going to keep making green jokes because I think they are hilarious. My life is depressing. Uh, so, yeah. 3D objects. Hope you guys have learned a lot. See the shadow there? Yeah, you see that shadow. Watch, I'll move it. Shadow's moving. Shadow's moving.
you guys didn't believe me, but it's there. Um, that's besides the point. So that's uh, the gist of how to work in a 3D space. I'm John. You are awesome. Thank you for watching today. Make sure to get over to videofort.com. Check out some stock footage. You can see stuff like girls driving cars, guys drinking on the street, and me on my yacht in Miami. That's that one right there. That's Miami, baby. Um, yeah, so check that stuff out over there. We also got some really awesome exclusive footage from around the world, things you've never seen before. Make sure to click subscribe over on the right hand side there. We love to make our users happy. And uh, the only way to do that is if you subscribe and comment and like and um, be fantastic. So uh, yeah, we will get back to you on the flip side. Later guys.